Hey guys, it's Wendy here with Wendy's Plans, and today I thought I would take you along with me to do a little bit of shopping. I thought I would stop at, um, I'm going to go to Target and then maybe Walmart, so guys, stick around. Alrighty guys, so this is the um, this is the deal. So I could have been in the house doing some stuff, getting you know laundry done, cleaning, all of that, but I really, really want to go to Target and to Walmart, and I'm looking for stuff to put in the car for my travels. So we're I'm going to take you along with me to do that, and then I'm also going to when we get back i am going to show you the two car caddies that emma and chris got me for christmas and we are going to fill them up and put them in my car so guys i'm hoping you're gonna like this okay guys i just got to um, target so i thought before i go in that i would um just tell you a little bit about what I am going to get. So I would like to have some stuff inside the car when I'm traveling. So if I need anything, I will have it. And some of those things are like hand sanitizer, Kleenexes, um, you know, some paper towels or napkins, some wipes um, in the, for the car itself batteries a flashlight um, some wd-40 windex wipes and a septic wipes some gloves a tire gauge all of these things my car will tell me if i have a flat tire but it doesn't tell me how much air is in the tire or how much i need to put in it so i definitely need a tire gauge um, i need some batteries um that kind of thing so that's what i am looking for today and as i get in the store i will try to show you as much as i can i don't know how conducive it's going to be but we're going to see so guys stick around okay guys so first of all who knew on a monday morning that walmart and target were going to be crazy busy not me so I did not film any while I was in there. So I am now sitting in the back seat of my car and I am going to show you the bags that Emma got for my car and then we're going to fill up the pockets and I'm going to show you what I bought. So First, I'm going to see if I can set you down if you're out of way to film this. So give me just a moment. All righty, guys. So let me see. The first, I think the easiest way for me to show you the bags is to put one on the seat. I know I could unlock it and it would be a lot easier, but you know what? This is going to work. Okay. So, I'm going to show you the bag. So, it connects on the back of the car. You've got a pocket here. You've got a clear big pocket here. There's another like a water bottle pocket there. There's two pockets. There's one big, another water bottle, and then two pockets, mesh pockets on the bottom. So let me see if I can set you up a different way. Okay, so now I'm going to reach down here and grab my bags, and I'm going to show you what I got and what's going to go in each bag. Now, one of these bags or pouch pockets is going to be one is going to be for like me personally and then one is going to be for me personally with the car so i got two pairs of medium reusable um, rubber gloves these are going to be for the car so 
if I need to put air in the car tire or so if I need to do something to the car and I don't want my hands to get dirty and nasty that's what those are for then I got Windex wipes these are going to be for whenever I need to wipe off a window or something gets on them um, I know that there's this <laughs> um, an abduction tactic where they throw an egg on your windshield and the ploy is to get you to stop because you can't um, see and um, so I know I want to have wipes in case something like that were to happen I'm hoping not but you plan and if you don't need it that's a good thing um let's see i got some antibacterial hand wipes those will go into one of my pockets um trying to decide where i want this to go i think i'm going to put it in the mesh pocket down at the bottom then i picked up some vinyl gloves these are going to be twofold. Some of them is going to be for me. Some is going to be um, to use with the car. Now, what my intent is, and I think I purchased them. Hopefully I did. I'll come to a bag. But I got some Ziploc bags because I'm going to take some of these out, put them in a Ziploc bag, and they will go into my pouch that is for me. I got some disinfecting wipes because when I want to wash down a surface, I will have something. And I'm hoping they'll go, and they will, they'll go into the pocket that's shaped like a um, water bottle pocket. I'm putting it right now into the car. No, this is my personal one. Um, I think I'm going to put it in my car one, though. I think it's going to make more sense to, to be there. Then I have a bottle of hand sanitizer. This is going to go in the top so that I will always have it. So that is one bag. My next thing is I have a Tied Go Stick. And guys, you know, we always drop something all over the front of our shirt, right? So this will help with that if I'm on the road. And I think I'm going to pop this stick out. Well, I'm not yet because I haven't even opened it to use it. We'll put it in there. I got a roll of duct tape. And that will go into the car. A little can of WD-40 will go in the car one. A little bottle of moisturizing lotion that's going to go for me personally I have a flashlight my first thought was to put this in the car but I feel like this needs to be available for me personally in the car now saying that too um, when there's nobody riding with me this pocket is going to get turned around and it'll be up in the front um, where I can access this stuff any time. Then I picked up a little thing of sunscreen. It's a 30 SPF because you never know when you want to stop on the side of the road and get out, take pictures, or let's say I'm in a park somewhere and I need some sunscreen. So I'll always have some sunscreen. I didn't get a big bottle because I would rather have the smaller bottles and not take up as much, much room. Guys, I know you're going to say I'm crazy, but I've got a tape measure because you never know when you need one. That's going to go in the car. Then I have a pack of Kleenexes because, guys, I need Kleenexes all the time. And so I am going to put, I'm taking out a few packs and I'm going to put them in one of them that is like for a water bottle. And um, so I have multiple packs with me all the time. These others will go into, I have packed some paper towels. Guys, I know the cars are continuously going up and down the road and I'm sorry for the noise. 
but I'm in my car. <laughs> but these I will put back with them and I will have extras. Now, here are my freezer bags. So, or my, yeah, quart bags. So, there was multiple reasons that I felt like this was the best solution. Is because, guys, I have a leave-in conditioner that I use on my hair that has colorant in it. And I have to wear gloves when I use that and I use it once a week and so I needed the gloves for that and I wanted to have some for inside of my car so I thought Wendy let's just have some of these gloves in a Ziploc and when I need them I have them and when I'm traveling they will always be in the car until I get to the place where I'm going and then I will take them in. So I'm putting a handful of these in the Ziploc. And these are going to be in a pocket for me to access um, anytime I need them in the car. So they're going to go in the pouch up here at the top. Then, guys, when I'm driving... I prefer to have a straw. I am not a fan of some of the reusable straws. I wish I was. I think if I had some of the glass straws, I would use those. I don't like the metal ones. And so I bought just some regular flexible straws because guys, I hate it when I go through the drive-thru and they give you your drink and then they do not give you straws. So I'm gonna see if they will go into here because I don't need the whole box of straws. I just need some to have in the car. I know these are not good for the environment and I understand that and if I ever find a reusable straw that I like then I will definitely purchase that um, but right now this is what I've got so I'm gonna put oh I don't know probably a dozen or so in just a ziploc and then this is going to go up at the top with my other stuff and this will just travel this box will just travel with me so when I need to refill it I can then I bought I knew I needed to have some batteries but I didn't want a big container so I bought two C batteries two D batteries four triple A and four double A's. I think these are going to go into my personal bag because I feel like this is going to be for personal items and my car bag truly is getting full. Now, I have a second bag. Now, my thought process was I would put one bag on the front and one on the back. Well, right now, I know somebody's going to be riding with me um, shortly, and I don't want them to not be able to use the front seat. So, I have one pocket left that's for a big water bottle. So, let me show you how this pocket is looking right now. Okay. So, on this first pocket is where I put the gloves and the straws. I have my flashlight in this little pocket. Down in the next one I've got my Tide and my batteries. This is my sunscreen. This is my lotion, wipes, my Kleenexes, 
and my sanitizer. This pocket here is going to be left open for a water bottle. So when this swings around, that water bottle will be on the side of my um, front seat here where I can reach for it. Now, we are going to put this bag, which is identical, on my driver's side for now. When nobody is riding with me, um, this one will be on the back. I had thought at one point that this one, I would actually put it in the back um, on this back seat back here. But I have rethought that idea. And I think if I needed it, it would be inconvenient to get something out of it. So I have decided it's going to go back here. So I'll have one in the front, one in the back. So when nobody's riding with me, this, pa this bag will go with me um, over here. I'll just remove it. Now, these are just straps that just fit around the seat that hold the bag to the chair. So I'm going to see if I can show you what it looks like. So here you go. That's what it looks like on the back of the chair. And now I am going to fill it up. If I can sit you on my book that is in my car, I will show you how we're filling it up. Okay, so we're gonna start with these top pockets. And in the top one, I am gonna put these rubber gloves. I am gonna put the Windex wipes. I've got a roll of duct tape. I think I'm gonna put this down here in this pocket here. Then I have a WD-40. I have my wipes. And guys, right now, that's all that I have that I can put in here. So there you go. I have the wipes and the gloves, the um, disinfectant wipes. I've got my WD-40 and my tape. And you know what, guys? I think I'm going to move these batteries to over here. Because in that other pouch so let me show you from the top and we got the batteries there we go and then let me get over a little bit so you can see this one so in this pouch my my thought process was that I need to, I didn't put my measuring tape. It's going to go in the um, little cup holder thing. So I'm trying to gather everything up so I can take the others in. So my thought process was when I'm traveling, I want to be prepared if I get stopped and I am on the side of the road for any length of time that I have water that I have that I have some kind of food emergency food I also have a blanket that will stay in my car when I get out I will show you that um, 
but I want to have the necessities that I may need. There are a few things that I could not find today, and I will be ordering those on Amazon. One of them was the tire gauge. One of them is a, um, a device that will put air in your tires. Um, I do have roadside assistance through VW and through AAA, so that's not a problem. But guys, if I'm somewhere, you know, I don't want to sit on the side of the road, then if I'm in a place that really kind of gives me a vibe, if I've got some way to pump up my tire, then I would rather do that and go on down the road. Um... So, there are more things that I will add to my bags, and when I pack my car to leave, all the additional things that I add, I will show you. I do know that one thing will be a Ziploc bag that has napkins or paper towels in them, um, because there's always a need for those. I want to have some protein bars, maybe some packages of nuts, maybe some packages of, okay, if you're from the South, they're called nabs, but they're crackers with cheese or peanut butter in them. Um, I want those. I would like to keep mints and um, some kind of hard candy or um, some kind of gum in the, in the um, bag also, there are a couple other things that I would like. I have the Velcro um, bands for like cables and stuff like that. I kind of think if I can find a small package of zip ties, I would like to do that. And I have a first aid kit. I have a roadside kit and I think I will take you back to the back of my car now and show you what I have in my um in in the it's not a truck I have an SUV but in the back so let's do that now alrighty guys so the first thing I'm going to show you is this is a outdoor blanket that Christopher got me last year I believe for Christmas and I'm going to show you that so it looks like this is like a blanket it's got a hoodie I believe it will zip up in um, in the front but this is kind of like sleeping bag material here you go so you can see what it looks like so you've got the hood you've got a strap to keep it to your arms and it comes in a bag so I've already been keeping this in my trunk so I've got that thanks to Volkswagen I have a roadside assistance bag and in here this comes with This is actually um, some PVC tape, a whistle. Um, this is an emergency blank, a blanket. I don't know what that means. I, I, I know what an emergency blanket is, but I don't know what that is. Um, and then there's some bandages in there. Then it comes with these gloves, an emergency poncho. Oh, I might not have to. Okay, guys, I was going to get a Leatherman tool. This comes with one. So I'm happy about that. I'm not going to take everything out because I don't want to have to figure out how to repackage it. But it does come with a poncho. It has jumper cables. Oh, it does have some zip ties. Here's the blanket, I think. No, that's my um, triangle warning sign. And a rechargeable phone, not phone, um, flashlight. I'm glad I opened that. So that is all in my roadside assistance bag. Um, this came when I bought the car. 
so I did not have to purchase that. It's got a Velcro strap here, and when I put it in my car, it Velcros and stays right there. Then, here is the first aid kit. Okay, guys, so I've opened this, and I'm going to sit here, and we're going to go through this real quick. Oh, this has all kinds of stuff in it, guys. So, it has some scissors. It has a... I don't know what this is. It's a survival wrap. I have no idea what that is. Um, stretch gauze, an ace bandage tape, all kind of band-aids. Guys, it has all kinds of things in it. Um, so I do have a nice, um, I might not have had y'all all in screen. There we go. Has all of that kind of stuff in there. So that's really nice. There's a, lick, a stretchy band here. So you could really, I'm going to zip this up really quick. So it's got this. I'm assuming you could just like connect it to something like on my backpack or luggage or whatever. And that would go there. Um, it's zip. And then it's got two Velcros here. So my thought is... I can put that one there. The one on the bottom is now Velcroed and they will always be right there. So guys, I hope you found this to be interesting. I hope you found that it was interesting and if you liked this um, vlog please leave me a car or a traveler down below and until next time guys bye bye